Uh, yeah. But don't worry. What I can tell you, don't worry about them, because uh, they are just people who are there just to make noise, and uh, nothing good can come out of them. Yes. Yeah. Them, they live because of uh, people's uh, stories. You know, yeah. they meet a guy outside there, yeah. and uh, you be told one, two, three things, and you start, oh, what? Are, then you start thinking of maybe what then you decide to do what you decide to leave yeah. but uh, that's uh, in every in every institution or uh, in every place you go to work you might find such people yes how are you beautiful people it's another day here guys uh, another beautiful uh, day here it's a weekend on a saturday here so i welcome you all to this beautiful channel here Oka Junior, I greet you good morning. Of course, it is a good morning on my hand here. It is just around uh, 11.44 a.m. So good morning. Uh, I also greet you good, even, good afternoon, good evening as well. Depending with the time you're going to watch the video and also the time zone here. So it's a beautiful weekend here. This, uh, this rose here taking water here. You can see the ro rose is taking water here so as you can see the clouds are very clear guys uh and we thank the lord for that thank the lord so i want to welcome you all to this beautiful channel here oga junior is my name and uh, i do videos from the village from my village here my village is called uh, rea rea is in kenya and uh to those who doesn't know where kenya though kenya is known kenya is a known country in the world Kenya is really a very beautiful country, a peaceful country known all over the world. So for those who doesn't know where Kenya is, Kenya is in, uh, so I've removed this one from, from Ross. Kenya is uh, in Africa, in East Africa, I mean, in East Africa. So I do vlogs from the village and I bring you amazing, how we live in the village here and uh, how we interact, the village life. So there's a, there have been a debate on uh, whether the village life and the city life, the country lifestyle, and the city, the life in the city, which is better. The, the, lives, the lifestyle in the city and the lifestyle in the countryside, which one is better or which one will you prefer, you know? So this thing, you can't know it. If I told you I haven't been in the, in the countryside or in the village, it needs somebody who has tested both life, you know? You have stayed in the city, you have also stayed uh, in the village or in the countryside, you know, like me here, like me, Onga Junior here. I've been to uh, many cities in Kenya here, like uh, Kisumu, we also have a city in, uh, we have Nairobi as the city, we have Nakuru as the city, we have Mombasa, and uh, the most recent city in Kenya is uh, Eldoret, you know, and Eldoret, it is known for the homes of champions, you know. Uh, Kenya is known for uh, the marathoners, you know, the elite Kipchoge, the goat. We also have uh, uh, great marathoners like the Omanyala, you know, the Olympic. If you if you watch the Olympic Games, the previous Olympic Games, there, then uh, at uh, you know the people have just talked about. So this was my sister here. She was uh, doing some laundry here. My sister was doing some laundry here. You can see. This is how we do it. We don't have a washing machine. This is how we live in the in the village. We don't have a machine machine. We do it uh, manually. So this is uh, it's called what? For the, for doing this way, do this way before you enter in the house. How is it being called, guys? Tell me how it is being called. Is it uh, you do this way? You know, before you enter, you do this way. You clean your foot, then then you enter. How is it being called? So my sister want to wash them. My sister want to wash them there. So leave a comment there. Leave a comment there. So, oh, this above soap here. Above soap, there you can see the tra the trough, the basins for rinsing. You know, you, have to, you must have some like uh, four to five basins for, rins for rinsing. You rinse your clothes. After washing here, you rinse there, you rinse there, another one there. So these are uh, uh, sky plus, you know. So right now it is actually it is a it is a mixture of weather. I don't know. <laughs> it is a mixture of weather in the village here. Sometimes it is raining. Sometimes it is sunny. Sunny guys, sunny. Sunny. Like right now it is very sunny. You know? It tried raining some 
some days ago, then uh, all of a sudden the rain just came back again. No, the, the sun I mean, the sun just came back again. So uh, even me, I failed to understand. I failed to understand how to, what's the weather? Is it rainy? Is it uh, sunny? Right, right now, it is very sunny. For the past four days, it has been sunny in the village here. And right now, we don't have water in the borehole there. You know, that's a borehole. We don't have water there. So my sister woke up very early in the morning and uh, she drew some water. She fetched some water from the river for her uh, to wash her clothes. You can see the clothes there. And this is our hanging line. This is our hanging line here. Up to that end. So she woke very up. She woke up very early in the morning and went to the river. The river is down. They're not that far from here. And uh, fetch some water. But during uh, during the rainy season or no, some normal days when there's uh, rain in the village here, we don't go to the we don't go to the river. We just uh, fetch water from this borehole here. You can see the borehole there. These are my chicks. Are they chicks or chickens? There's a time. Uh, I had a lot of chickens in the village here, yeah, but uh, they died. There was an outbreak. There was an outbreak of the chicken diseases, and the, the outbreak swept all, almost the 30 chickens, you know? The outbreak swept almost all the 30 chickens. So I'm, I'm, everyone, I'm, I'm surprised because uh, I vaccinated them. I vaccinated them, but uh, unfortunately, they went. So right now, I'm just starting to, to grow up again. I'm starting to at least uh, see if I can uh, I can get back where I was. I can get back where I was. So guys, uh, I was talking about the country life. The countryside lifestyle and the city side lifestyle. Which one is better? So somebody like me was tested both lives. I want to tell you the reality. You know, sometimes it is good to talk about fact. You talk reality. So here is a uh, wait. There are some guys uh, who, will, who live to wait here, but uh, I haven't done this. I haven't lifted weight. This is just manual, the manual one. I haven't lifted these ones here. Maybe I can just try and see if I can. If I can. Bye, you. Maybe, not. Maybe I can just try, guys. You know, although I do, I do, I always do exercise, but uh, this one here, this one manually made, you know. So my nephew is the one who like uh, lifting weights here and. Uh, our home manager, it's called Omwami, for exercise, you know. Maybe I also want to try and see if I can, I can lift. By the Makana camera, I see if I can do, I can lift this weight here. I do exercise, but uh, I don't lift weight, you know. I don't lift weight. Do you want to watch the camera? I see. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I want to try. I want to try. So this is my phone. I have to put it down here. Baliting. <laughs> so I want to try lifting this weight, guys. Uh, how many do you think I can, I can lift? Five. five. So guys, uh, my nephew is saying I can lift five. I want to see if I can lift them five. <clears throat> it is very heavy, though. Come on. <laughs> Guess one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, this for exercise, you know. <laughs> you can see him. This guy is doing his lifting weight here. And uh, that's how life goes on, you know. That's how life goes on. So guys, uh, uh, life in the countryside, sometimes I might say it is, uh, it is a bit easy. But challenging, you know, a bit easy but challenging. Uh, there are some, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, <coughs> there are some facilities in the village or in the city that you can't access easily. This is my cat, puss. 
Bus, 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 bus. Bus. So there are some facilities in the in the city. You can't access them or find them in the village here. You know, like the big gossip tolls. That is my cat, guys. What is it? Like the the big gossip tolls, you know, and even some uh, maybe the internet access so this is something that you can easily access in when you are in the city but uh, in the village here it is very rare you know it is very rare to find such things so like the the main problem like the internet connection you know the internet connection that's been a, a very big problem in the village here and uh, anybody living in the village will confirm to you that uh, the major problem people in the village are facing is uh the network connectivity, you know, the network connectivity. This is our open kitchen, the outside kitchen, or the open kitchen where we use the firewood. You can see the firewood here, where we use the firewood. And this one is the the cow shed. You can see the cow shed. That's a chaff cutter there. So that's a, a very big problem there. And again, uh, but uh, again, the, the something. Uh, if I may say, you know, something bad must also have some, uh, there must be some positive uh, things in the village here. Like mostly, you know, the food we eat in the village here are purely organic, you know. Then the peace, the environment is very peaceful. The environment is very peaceful. This is for water here, a gutter for water. When, uh, when it rains, it falls here, then here. So the, the reason why we made this one, we never, we never wanted this veranda here to be interfered with, you know. The splash, the water from the, from the iron sheets, the splash, you know. So when it uh, falls, it goes down. Falls here, then it goes down that way, you know. That's how it is, man. The gutter. This is a gutter here. That's how it is. So, so, so the, food, uh, the food in the village here, so I, must, I, I have to confirm that uh, or tell you that uh, there are... Uh, they're purely organic, organic food stuff, you know. That's unlike in the in the city where most of the foods uh, we eat in the city are uh, they're not purely organic. They're not purely organic. So that's uh, then they are easily accessible, you know. In the village, you can easily access foods, you know. You can easily access or get uh, the foods if you have a garden, a kitchen garden there. You made a garden there. You can uh, make a very nice. Uh, vegetables there so you don't need to buy everything you don't need to buy everything when you are in the village here then uh, another thing I can say is that uh, staying in the village here especially when we are somebody who is still uh, maybe hunting for a job or another thing there are uh, not that much opportunities in the village you know for those who are still hunting for the job people like us here but uh, we thank YouTube. YouTube has employed us, even though we are still not getting something out of it. But uh, YouTube has employed us. Even as we still wait for, or we still hunt for the job, but at least we have got something we are doing, you know. We are not just seated there. So, for those who are hunting for for job, you can't get much opportunity when you're in the village here, you know. You can't get much opportunity when you're in the countryside or you're in the village here. So those are some of the things uh, you must know. But for those who have maybe, those who are elder, those who have, you are done, you are retired, you have, you have done a job, and now you are a retired guy, then you need to relocate to the village to find peace, you know, to find the necessary peace in the village there. This is the best place to retire because you won't spend much, you know, free out of noise from the vehicles and all the musics, everything there. Just a cool breeze, you know, a cool breeze there. You do some of your projects there in the, in the village or in the countryside there. So I can, I can advise those who are... Uh, bike, I'm on the bike now. I can advise those who are... Uh, those who are uh, retired, they can relocate to in the, in the village, you know. They can relocate in the village. So I have a bicycle here. I had a bicycle here. And uh, my nephew has been using it uh, 
to go to the to go to school but unfortunately this bicycle here guys you can see this bicycle here the tires I'm not even bending on Makan, Makan, come on. To the machine, no, I got a joke. My little teacher's full of here. So, so, so my nephew has been using this uh, this bicycle here to go to school, and uh, I was planning to teach my sister also to on how to ride a bicycle. You know, I want my sister to know as well how to ride a bicycle, and uh, we had scheduled the activity today. But unfortunately, this is a mountain bike. This is a mountain bike. You can see the gear. You can see the gear levers. This one here. And even this handle, you can adjust it if you want, how you want it. They have a motor here for, uh, for uh, the light. The light is not there. I don't know what happened with it. And the pedal there. So these are the, these are the, the gears, the gear levels, I think. And we also have somewhere where you can put your stuff here if you go to the market to buy something. Bicycles are good for exercise, you know. So, unfortunately, there's a guy. I don't know. You know, sometimes pupils are very funny. Or students are very funny. So, there's a guy who pricked. Pricked this tire, you know. A student pricked the tire. And uh, even you can see there's no, there's no air. There's no air inside here. So we haven't made it. We haven't taken it to the. Koro, even your time, Machi, alukoso, iya dine. Ada mandi nyo, gama mandi dina dina dalaka. Iya dine. Hmm. So guys, uh, my nephew is telling me that uh, there's no need of buying a new tire because uh, we can fix this one here. We can fix this one here. So we want to work on it and uh, see if we can fix it. Ipa manyal fix ka one. Donga, muga ni makoyo dora. Mm. Uh, so we want to fix it using the cobbler glue. Tota ginene blood. A blood and water come in the gold. You need a cock one year. Bad in a dinner blood. Yadine. So we want to fix it, guys. We want to look on a way of fixing it. I thought we were to buy a new tire, but I'm being told that we can fix it using the, the cobbler glue. You know the cobbler glue? So we're gonna fix this one so that I can teach my sister as well how to ride a bicycle. So that uh, maybe if she's alone in the house, in the home, she can use it. She wants to go out, to go to the portion mill, you know. She can use it to go to the portion mill, or maybe one time, just for leisure, she can just she can just ride the the bicycle for leisure, you know, for leisure time there. So we will work on it. We will work on that bicycle. Actually, don't you know the man you Gamgo. Actually, guys, we need, I want, we need to fix it here with my nephew here today. We need to fix that uh, thing there with my nephew there. So this is avocado. That is, uh, some of the things, some of the reasons why seeing the countryside, countryside is good, you know. You just come from, uh, just come and pick the fruits. You don't need to buy these ones here. Like this one here, if you go to the city, so like this one here, this, uh, this avocado here, this one is like, uh, if you go to the city, this is half a dollar, you know. This is half a dollar if you go to the city in Kenya. Some goes even up to one dollar. But uh, here in the village, just pick it for free. You don't need to pay anything there. You don't need to pay anything here. So that's some of the reasons why you need to relocate. Or you can relocate in the the countryside, no? In the countryside. So that's some of the the facts, you know. The fact in the living in the countryside or in the village here some of the facts why you need to relocate in the village you don't need to, you don't need to spend much money or doing uh, doing a lot of stuff or buying food stuff you know if at all you have your chicken garden there this is called a ladder this is a ladder here let me check on the let me check on the pigeons my pigeons here i am glad how the number is increasing every day like right now they want to
there is those are the ones on the nest those are uh, the young ones you know there are some young ones on the nest there on the net the nest i mean where they lay egg and uh, some are also laying eggs right now like these two are laying those ones are young ones. those two are young ones those two the one that, that applied is a young one and that one there and uh, so i want to i want to make sure that they fill this house the nest the nest fill the house does their nest fill that house there Those are couples. They look like couples. Couple of friends. Oh, I mean, na chuko a video. Okay, fagia. Mimi sikumechukua nini kwanza? Chukua chukua speed. Wewe iko. Alafu nini? Hai ninaweka hizi pamoja hivi. Kusonana hii ni ni simu kwa watu. Mhm. Sasa kama ni kwa watu. Kibeba achanga nyingine chini. So we are cleaning the cow pen guys. The cow shed I mean. Even the cow pen still no no problem. So these are some of the lifestyle we live in the village here. Yeah? Uh, and if you are uh, somebody who keeps the animals, you know, you must make something like uh, a very nice place where they can stay, they can sleep, I mean. And even when it is raining, they are not being rained on, especially during the night time. So it is safe for them. There's also a door there, you can lock the door. But uh, in our region here, you know, some of the part, in some parts of Kenya or some regions, there is uh, this in uh, the animal theft, you know, the animal theft. So rampant in other parts of Kenya, but uh, uh, we are lucky here. Uh, we don't experience such a, such a thing, you know. We don't experience such a thing. So we're gonna load them here. We're gonna load them in this wheelbarrow here. Let's call them one. Mommy, just say hi to my people here. And they say one, two, three. Can anyone tell them a story? About <laughs> any story. Anyway, just say hi to them. Hi. Yes, uh, this is all uh, um, one. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'm just the cleaning the So how is life? How is life by the way? Since you came to this our village here, yeah, you know we haven't uh, interacted much about uh, your experience in the village here. Yeah. Uh, at home here, I'll just be honest how you have been treated at home here. I'm, I'm treated well, uh. I'm feeling well, uh. I'm comfortable with my work, uh. I don't see any problem. You don't see any problem? Yeah. Mm. I'm fine, always. Uh. So you love, you love this your new home, you love to be here? Yeah, uh. I love to be here. Uh. If God willing, mm. Mm. and uh, some of, some of the good things you have experienced in this our village, or even at home here. What I've learned mm. is 
disturb yourself yes mm. so that's something you have learned uh, from me uh-huh. mm. and uh, you like to to be together mm. to share things together mm. i've seen it's new to me mm. <laughs> even at home we don't de- share the way you are sharing uh. so uh, i'm able to say that mm. uh-huh. at least uh, you are learning something mm. even in terms of eating uh. I've learned <laughs> so what have you learned about eating eating mm. it's not bad but uh, we eat together but mm. some parts in mm. our previous homes eh? mm. people don't eat together mm. when the food is ready mm. So how do you how do you eat uh, in your places how do you eat you no know, in our, in our, the way you have said as we do it together when if my brothers they come back with their wives we still eat uh, together yeah. yeah as a family so that's what i'm saying uh, to our our, our serious homes mm. people don't use that mm. people eat different ways mm. like mm. according to me mm. When I go to my mom, mm. it's home, mm. or her home, mm. I don't expect to go to eat together, or it is not something... Uh, it's good to share, uh. if there is any problem, huh? we discuss together, uh. we help each other, huh? that's good, mm. according to me, mm. but uh, then try to they don't want that. Mm. So at least uh, you have learned something new. And uh, you know it is said that uh, wherever you go somewhere even though there are some uh, the positive things huh? there are some negative things uh, maybe you have seen or what do you think the the, the bad things you have seen uh, in 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 this our village or new in our home here you now you do your job people mm they start me mm. asking many questions outside mm how much do you mean dates uh. about the salad uh. so i wonder when somebody is asking a such question uh. so but uh, according to me mm. i if we the answer mm. i rely on you mm. you see i tell him i'm going to spend 10000 mm. you see mm. but he still continue asking mm. how those people treat you mm. <laughs> Yeah. They want to know. They want to and know. they just be you no know, people guys uh, this is very funny. Yeah. So uh, uh. that's why I'm telling you mm. if you have to some bad moods you can bring fight with somebody. Mm. But I don't have that mood of fighting or being cast. Mm. See. Mm. That's life. That's I know in the village uh, many people are so concerned about other people's life. So I try to understand why. Mm. You see I'm doing but working mm. so I, sometimes I'm asking myself a question why people to ask me mm. 
many want to uh, to know where I'm coming from. Mm. Some uh, silly, silly questions, you know? Yeah. Mm. So that's uh, what I can say that uh, Mwami here is a very nice guy here and we have been working together as a family here. So you've heard from just a very short story there. But uh, you've heard from him how things are in the village here, you know? It's very amazing. And that's really good. It's a blessing to our family here having you. We have been working together. Uh, so you see some silly questions. Yeah. Yeah. Those are silly questions, you know. Mm. Where is your the duo? Mm. Going every morning. Mm. You see? Mm. And there is a old papa is asking. Mm. I say to another I tell him, I see the duong is walking early in the morning. Mm. Is he is he maybe working somewhere? Mm. That is the answer. Mm. So they want to know the work specific is to it. They want to know how he does things, yeah. how he lives, how, how he eats. You know, that's, a, that's, a, that's the reality in the village here. So, uh, I've never told them that. Mm. I know what to say, mm. because he can ask maybe how to eat start mm. up to that point. But mm. somebody, they, I don't know why. They say I'm young. They say, I don't know how people ask you such questions. Mm. Mm. Sometimes I tell him, you know, I wake up in the morning, I'm staying here. Mm. And uh, my boss is coming at night. Mm. So you so don't know? I don't know where he's going. Sometimes mm. when I wake up to uh, boat, mm. I can tell him. Mm. Others I can refuse even to tell. <laughs> <laughs> but I think uh, the, the, the response we are giving is very nice. No, but uh. they force me to know. Uh. Others they tell me you are a soldier. Mm. You see? Mm. You are a soldier. Mm. Which type of a soldier? <laughs> Say it. Uh, uh. So, uh, they're, they're asking you which type of a soldier. Uh, uh. You are under which department? Uh. Say it. Uh. So I tell even me I'm new. Mm. I see somebody is there. Mm. So it's you to tell me. Mm. Not me to tell you because I'm new. Mm. I'm not discovered. Mm. So, they want to, I don't know why they are investigating. You see? So, no, those are uh, actually they are not they are not your friends. Not what what friends. you have to know, those are not uh, real friends. Huh? Those are like uh, they want to know what's happening in this home. And why I am working, mm. I'm busy in my job. Mm. So, people or some person come to me, mm. start asking me. Mm. So, you need to be very careful because. I don't think uh, I can say that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I can say that. But anyway, you just do your work uh, and uh, yeah. everything will be good, you know? Yes. So the noise from the outsiders, those are the things which are there. Mm? Those are the things which are there. But you just need to be, you need to be careful. I just tell you about the long is playful. The long is can beat me if you talk. So I need to understand why people say such. Tell me such things. They are asking me. Where have you lived? You are careful. You are? My cat is uh, um, taking care. Uh, so I say to understand. Uh, but as you, if I see you are young, mm. I can even abuse you. <laughs> no, you don't, need, you, don't need, you don't need to abuse somebody. Because if I is a student and mm. asking me such questions, uh, I see that you have, you have seen me a man. Mm. I'm asking my Ivo. Mm. He has not seen any young. Mm. Yeah, 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 that's life, you know.